we will continue our discussion about this deterministic barcoding in your tissue in our previous videos we have uh, understood how this is better than the other techniques in this video we will understand how uh, this uh, barcoding are prepared and how they can be uh, how this instrument looks like and how what are its uh, some of the examples of staining of these embryos of the mouse models so this is uh, the workflow of the dip, uh, debit deterministic barcoding in tissue that is first they will uh, fix the tissue on a glass slide and after that they will incubate it with this anti dna uh, this anti uh, dna antibody tags against the protein of interest and after that uh, they will leave it uh, this at room temperature they will barcode it uh, with uh, one kind of antibodies and uh, in the next step they barcode it with another kind of antibodies at the orthogonal directions and thereafter they will lysis the tissue and uh, prepare the uh, samples for this engine sequencing and in this case there are two experiments two different uh, we can say two parallel studies are been carried out first to identify the uh, protein of interest and second to identify the uh, mrnas in this different uh, different at different spatial locations so how this thing has been carried out how the barcodes are prepared so this is the mrna and poly a tails and this is the antibody derived barcode antibody derived uh, dna tags it also contains poly a tails so uh, first uh, these things are been attached with this barcode a1 to 50 and after that the uh, so in the first in this step where this barcode a's are introduced this barcode a will bind to this mrna that are present within the tissue cells and also this barcodes a will also bind to this uh, antibody derived tags because they are also been inserted at the second step after the reverse transcriptase will happen and because of this the uh, reverse transcriptase medium uh, complex or uh, mixture will be inserted at this step that third step and because of this the mrna will be converted into this uh, uh, it's uh, complementary DNA formed along with this uh, linker and also this antibody text will also be uh, uh, converted into its complementary uh, DNA sequence along with this uh, ligation linker and in this in, in, at this step the barcode the second barcode is inserted that contains this ligation it also contains this ligation linker and after that this ligation steps occurs and now the uh, mRNA portions will have uh, this complementary mRNA sequence along with this barcode A, barcode B and also uh, these are biotin related so that it helps in the purifications of the cDNA and uh, this uh, antibody derives uh, antibody derives uh, barcode text will also have the complementary DNA sequence and barcode A, barcode B and unique molecular identifier uh, it, uh, mRNA sequence complementary mRNA sequence also has unique molecular identifier and along with this, these uh, PCR handles are also attached, which is biodilated that helps in the uh, purifications. So, this is uh, the how the barcodes are designed. And now, let us understand some of its uh, results, limit results on the uh, mouse embryoid tissue. And in this case, we can see that these are the 50 micrometer pixel size of this uh, micro uh, fluidics channel. And we can see the square boxes that uh, that they are stained at uh, different sizes. Uh, the horizontal uh, barcodes are stained with blue, and the vertical barcodes are stained with red. And when this 10 micrometer uh, pixel size, we can see that uh, there is, it has also stained uh, correctly, and there is no leakage that has been observed from one channel to the another channel. And this is also. Uh, a zoom out view and uh, non zoom out view of this mouse embryo at different uh, microfluidic uh, size channel and we can see that and uh, we can see that uh, this uh, in the zoom in view we can see that these uh, embryos 
are been uh, stained Amperoids are been uh, stained or in line with this microfluidic channels the staining can be uh, visible using microscopes or by analyzing this uh, by analyzing these barcodes using ngs sequencing so this is the this is right now the non fluorescence images the fluorescence images i have removed it from uh, this slide uh, because i want to cover this main barcode topics for this video if you need to understand or see these fluorescence images and understand about the demit process in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description so that's all for this video thank you for your time so however in this video we can see that uh, the, during the horizontal labeling there is no leakage that has been observed so these are about this uh, these images are after this one kind of labeling has been done that is after part 3 we can see that there is no leakage in the vertical directions uh, however the fluorescence images of these are there in this uh, same figure figure 2 but you can refer to those figures in the paper so that's all for this video thank you for your time